Good morning. Good morning. Happy Easter to everyone, too. This is the day the Lord has made to us, for us to rejoice and be glad in. Hallelujah. <laughs> there, uh, I heard someone yesterday say that Church of Religious Science and the Center for Spiritual Living is doing the work of the devil. <laughs> and that in their church, they were praying for us. So I thought, well, hallelujah. Thank you very much. We'll take all the prayers you can give us. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I just blessed them, you know, and went on my way because I wasn't going to let that disturb my consciousness of Easter. So, uh, as I did my work yesterday looking for what I was going to say this morning to begin the meditation, I promised myself I wouldn't preach. So it's going to be short and sweet, and then we'll have enough time to meditate. And what I found was I went to the textbook. This is my Bible. And on page 413, it is written, to practice the presence of God is to awaken within us the Christ consciousness. Christ is God in the soul of man. The resurrection is the death of the belief that we are separated from God. For death is to the illusion alone and not to reality. I've always said in my memorial services that we come through the door, mark birth, and then we leave through the door, mark death, but into new life. What happened was that man awoke to life. The awakening must be on the part of man since God already is life, and God is what we are. We're expressions of that infinite being, the one God, the one creator, the one almighty being. That is the energy by which we are able to live and move and have our being. And so uh, what I would like to do then, I went to Page 377, Jesus revealed himself to his followers after his resurrection to show them that death is but a passing to a higher sphere of life and action. Our contention is not that dead men live again, but that a living man never dies. Isn't that just the sweetest thing you've ever heard? No fear in death. And so what I would like us to do <clears throat> is to take a seed idea. And I'm going to throw out several, and you can choose whatever you want. Or if you have, uh, if you do transcendental meditation, uh, do your mantra or whatever it is that you want. And uh, you can ch choose one of these. I am awake to the Christ consciousness. I am that I am, uh, I am in more, an immortal being, if you can say that. I am an immortal being, or I am awake, alive, and alert, alert to the consciousness of God, which is Christ in me, something like that. So let's do that, and as we begin, let's just close our eyes if you choose. Take some deep breaths. <clears throat> and then allow your mind to move into your heart. 
the space of peace. This is the Jerusalem consciousness, the city of peace. And remember that Jesus, from the scripture and the Bible, is riding into that uh, center, into that city, on a donkey, on an ass, which represents our emotions. So he was in charge, knowing that he was going to enter into a new life. And that's what we're able to do. Because that Christ consciousness is already alive and well in each one of us. And so we move into our mantra or our affirmation and simply focus on that idea. If you find that you're doing the laundry list, Please just simply bring your awareness back to your breath.
This concludes our meditation for this morning. And <clears throat> we'll have the regular Easter Sunday service with Reverend Eileen Brownell at 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock. Thank you for being with us today. <clears throat>